State and private structures of the Russian Federation are massively purchasing anti-drone equipment. According to Glavred media outlet, the main thing, the Russian authorities expect that Ukrainian drones will soon attack the Far East. The Russians have already spent more than 80 million rubles on anti-drone equipment. Recently, information appeared about the increased preparation of the authorities of the Russia for future attacks by drones on Ukraine deep into the Russian Federation. As reported by Russian media, state structures spend insane sums on this. Judging by the data on the public procurement website, Russia no longer expects that Ukraine will get away with attacks on the border regions of the Russian Federation. The enemy is preparing for drone strikes even on objects in the Far East, the Urals and Siberia. As of now, the Russians have already spent 841 million rubles on anti-drone equipment, of which 411 million in the Urals, 90 million in Siberia, and 340 million in the Far East. In total, this is 22 times more than last year. What is interesting is that the heads of airports, oil depots, and enterprises in the oil and energy sectors are most afraid of Ukrainian drone strikes. They spend large sums of money on anti-drone equipment, even for businesses in the Arctic Circle. This is not the first time Russia has been shaken by explosions. The border regions, from where rockets are launched towards mainland Ukraine, are the most reached. The Ukrainian special services do not hide the fact that they often strike with drones at Russian military industrial complex facilities, in particular training grounds, airfields and factories. This list was supplemented by the critical infrastructure of the Russian Federation, which serves the forces of the invaders. Now, according to Kirill Budanov, the head of the Ukrainian civil service, the Russian civilian population is finally seeing the real picture of the war. They see burning oil depots, destroyed plant and factory buildings. All this is beneficial, he said. We will remind you that on the night of October the 23rd, Ukrainian soldiers attacked 
the Novoshakti refinery in the Rostov region of the Russian Federation for the second time. The defense forces also tested the strength of the air defense of the temporarily occupied Crimea. The day before, as reported by Glavred, on the night of October the 22nd, drones attacked four Russian factories, three of which are officially engaged in the production of alcohol. Although, in fact, the Russian Federation uses these facilities for the production of fuel for military needs and explosives. Earlier, as a result of an attack by Ukrainian drones on the Sverdlov plant in Russian Zerzinsk, which produces explosives, one of the company's workshops was damaged. Israeli military video released on Sunday claims to show soldiers raiding bunkers and finding stockpiled weapons in southern Lebanon. In a statement, the Israeli military said that its troops continue conducting limited, localized, targeted ground raids based on precise intelligence in southern Lebanon. They said that they eliminated dozens of terrorists, raided terrorist infrastructure above and below ground, and located numerous munitions and weapons. Israel has intensified bombardment of Lebanon since September 23, vowing to cripple Hezbollah, which began firing into northern Israel after Hamas' October 7 attack triggered the war in Gaza. Israel says it is targeting Hezbollah members and infrastructure and says the group places military assets in civilian areas. Some 2,000 people have been killed, including Hezbollah fighters and commanders, but also hundreds of civilians, often in strikes on homes. The exchange of fire has raised fears of an all-out regional war pitting Israel and the United States against Iran and its militant proxies, which include Hamas and the Hezbollah militant group in Lebanon, where Israel launched a ground invasion earlier this month after nearly a year of lower-level conflict. בתוך הסבך, ממש בתוך היער. נמצא המתחם הזה. נכון, נמצא מצבור אמלח מאוד גדול. בנוי מבוטן. מה זה? 